I Believe in the Power of Travel by Sherry Fowler. I believe in the power of travel. When I arrived in Cairo and later in Giza, I was shocked by the smoke and filth and gray. But I loved the sound of the city. Buses, the calls to prayer, jingling bells on carts, car horns, people talking in languages I couldn't understand. It was a strange symphony of life. Cairo was a wonderful culture shock for me. I believe we all need such culture shocks, new experiences that force us out of our complacency and comfort, journeys that teach us that our ways are not the only ways and that there is beauty and difference. After Cairo, I traveled into more rural areas of Egypt, which were magical. I'd never seen a starlit sky without light pollution. I spent the better part of a week in the desert with a Bedouin family, sleeping in a tent with a lovely girl named Alil and her goat. No one there spoke English except for one Nubian man who visited during the day. He told me I was worth many goats. So now, when I feel bad about myself, I remember that I am worth not just one, but many goats. These days in the desert populate some of my best memories. During the day, I would sit under the shade of a tent and write or draw. I also helped with chores and milked a goat because the mother had sprained her hand and I knew how to do this. She was pleasantly shocked and hugged me tighter than anyone has this far in my life. At night, under the black sky and bright stars, we sat by a fire and made jewelry. It was strange how well we were able to communicate with smiles and gestures, even when the Nubian man was not around. It was here in these lovely evenings that I learned how little difference exists between all human creatures. I witnessed a fight between a teen girl and her mother. Nothing serious, just typical mother-daughter drama. I could not understand their words, but it was very clear and familiar, the struggle. I was present for the birth of twin goats and felt Alil's pain when we thought one of them had died. The kid actually lived, and the family seemed to interpret this resurrection as a miracle, shouting and celebration in the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> no, he wants to buy it so he can take it home and make it. Yes. This family's life was very different from my own, but their humanity was the same. While I missed air conditioning and a hot shower, I found myself a bit jealous of their simplicity, their ability to truly be in the moment. Their daily rituals mostly dictated by the hot sun and the reprieve of a cool night sky. Mark Twain states, travel is fatal to prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness. And many of our people need it sorely on these accounts. Broad, wholesome, charitable views of men and things cannot be acquired by vegetating in one little corner of the earth all of one's life. All of the money I've spent in my life, I do not regret one dime used for travel. I look at our world today and see bigotry and fear and division. And I believe that travel has the power to obliterate such harmful human tendencies. It is so easy to hate that which one does not know. But once in a tent with a little girl and her goat, 
all negative emotions bleed away. We all need to experience each other's humanity. Happy travels.